The size-dependent properties of gold can be used to cure cancer. That's a subject of interest to a lot of people. So professors Naomi Hallis, oops, let's not do that yet, and Jennifer West, a professor of, double, of electrical engineering and a professor of bioengineering, came up with the idea that if you take a, a particle of sand that's somewhere between 20 and 60 nanometers in diameter, start coating it with nanoparticulate gold until it's a solid coating, it gives you a core shell structure like this. And as you change the diameter of the particle and as you change the thickness of the, sh of the shell, you can change the color across the entire visible spectrum and push it into the infrared. And that's pretty cool, uh, just by changing the size of the particle. Uh, and it can, it can change the absorbance of the particle or the, the scattering of the particle with light. And why should a bio person be interested in that? Well, there's an interesting phenomena with tissue. So I've been using this green laser pointer, and everybody can see that pretty well. If I hold it up against my finger, it doesn't go through tissue at all. If, however, I take a red laser pointer, shown here, kind of harder to see, but now if I hold it up against my finger, it goes clear through. Infrared, it goes even farther. It goes up to three inches deep into the body. So if you have a gold nanoshell that can selectively absorb that infrared radiation, you can deposit energy three inches deep in the body wherever you want it by putting a gold nanoshell there. So that was kind of an aha moment that was pretty cool. So here's the, here's the story. You take a gold nanoshell that's tailored appropriately, you put um, biomarkers on the nanoshell that are targeted to a particular cancer cell you'd like to go after. And this is the typical way of doing it, but it actually works well even if you don't do any targeting because these gold nanoshells find their way to the leaky blood vessels in a tumor and selectively deposit themselves in the tumor. So then you inject them into the bloodstream, they circulate through, they find their cancer cells, you shine the infrared light through the tissue onto them. You can do a whole body shining. It doesn't, you don't feel a, a thing. And it heats up the cancer cells 10, 15 degrees. They die, and it's a pretty cool thing. Now, the problem is in am, animal testing on this, it worked so well that it became a financial and accounting nightmare because nobody had budgeted to keep the mice alive that long. <laughs> little little uh, provost humor there. So here's the hind section of a mouse. Everybody recognizes that, of course. Um, here's an infrared laser beam going in, and there's two uh, human breast cancer uh, tumors that have been grown in the mouse specifically, and the only place that heats up is where the gold nanoshells have deposited into that tumor. So it worked. And the animal studies that have been done, here's the control group and the sham group that either got nothing or got nanoshells with no light, uh, they all died within a, a month. The mice that were treated with this, 100% of them survived for certainly a year, a year and a half after the treatment.